What's going on? Today we're going to talk about fuzzing. So we're laying down the concepts of fuzzing uh, in cybersecurity, and we will be using an example from TryHackMe. The example is taken uh, directly from Advent of Cyber 2. So we're going to lay down the concepts and answer the questions in a practical uh, method. So what's fuzzing? So fuzzing is providing random inputs to a computer program or web application and monitoring the response. So mostly we I did the separation between computer program and application at the end. Everything, you know, web application runs on a computer program at the end. But I meant by saying computer program, the binaries. So when we fuzz binaries, okay, we provide random inputs. We provide unexpected inputs to the program uh, to find if it will crash, to find if there are bugs, to find if it is vulnerable to buffer overflow. So that is our objective when we look, when we fuzz a computer program, specifically the binaries or the executable ones. But when we fuzz a web application, uh, namely by fuzzing the URL, we try to look for leaks, look for directories, files that display sensitive information. We look for buffer overflows as well. We look also for security misconfigurations. If there is one of the OWASP top 10, so we use fuzzing to find that. Also, we use fuzzing to find the login credentials sometime and also to find out vulnerabilities. So all of these objectives are accomplished if you provide random inputs, okay, unexpected input to the application. Of course, this concept can be accomplished using command line tools. So what are some of the command line tools for accomplishing the fuzzing? So we have WFuzz. WFuzz is a command line tool that you can use to fuzz web applications. So why would you use WFuzz? We use WFuzz to accomplish one of these purposes, right? Or goals. So you would use the URL parameters. Sometimes we are interested to find out what is the URL parameter that would lead us uh, to exploit a specific vulnerability. We would also use WFuzz to find the username and password of login forms. We also find use WFuzz to find out if there is a hidden directory. Now, most of you have heard about GoBuster. Right, GoBuster or Directory Buster is used to find out directories and files. Of course, after the specified extension. Now, as far as computer programs are concerned, most of the time you would do the fuzzing manually if you are looking to find if the program is vulnerable to buffer overflow. So we would provide random input to the command line to find out. Okay, let's now take a look at the scenario and um, let's see an example of using WFUS. So, opening the console. We would connect to track me. Okay, after the connection is accomplished, uh, don't forget to start up the machine. So let's navigate to the IP address of the web server to find out what do we have to deal with. So this is an animation of a Christmas tree. You have been the, uh, your forearms are gone. Okay. So basically this is the page. Now the first method or the first step is to find out the hidden directories and files. The first step in the fuzzing process. So we will switch back to command line and go to Kali, use directory buster. So, sudo go buster dir dash u provide the URL. 
Next, we provide the word list. Jacob.txt and the raster. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So big, here's big.txt, and we specify the files or the file extensions. So we have txt, also PHP. So now we start the first step, which is fuzzing the directories and files. So we find a directory called API. Let's go there. <coughs> okay, so there is a file called sitelock.php. If you click on that file, you see, it seems that the content is hidden, or we don't have permission to read the content. So basically there is a file here called sitelock. And our task in the scenario is to find out if this file contains any sensitive information. Now, normally this file, as you can see, it's named sitelock.php, which means it is a log file. Now, when we tackle log files, we all the time search by a date. So let's suppose that if we append sitelock.php, okay, and question mark, and here we need to find out what is the parameter that we will be using to search through this file. So as I said earlier, this file is a log file, and most of the time when we uh, search through a log file or mine through a log file, we uh, use the date. So we will suppose that the parameter is date. And here, there is equal sign. So here comes the place where we would apply the fuzzing. So after we define the URL parameter, which is date, which is also a guess, uh, Next, we will, we will need to find out what are the possible values that could be here. So for that reason, we're going to use a word list. The word list, I'm going to show you the word list. It's a bit different from the normal word list. So let's um, split the view. CD back, CD back, head dash N5 word list. So the word list is, as you can see, contains data that appear, that appear to be uh, dates. So as you can see from the format. So from the format, this is called a word list or date word list. So why would we do we choose date word list? Specifically because we're looking here, the value need to be in a date format, okay? Because the parameter here is date and the uh, dates should accept only data that is in the date format. So that's why we will need to use a word list that contains data in the date format. So, of course, depending on the parameter you are fuzzing, if the parameter was different, say it, is, it was ID, let's say you have an ID here, all right? You want to fuzz the possible values that if uh, you fuzz, one of these values would return to you an ID of an admin or whatever. So we would use numerical values, but ID is a numeric. If it was something like uh, user name, here we would use a word list that contains uh, strings, right? Strings such as, uh, you know, characters. So here our parameter is date. So we're fuzzing a date parameter. Okay, so we would need to use a word list that contains data 
in date formats. Okay, now next is to apply the correct syntax of the co command line tool wfuss. So let's take this to the left. I guess we're done here with the directory buster. We're gonna close this view. Okay, so we start with wfuss. Dash C, dash C is an option used to show the output in a colored mode. Dash Z, dash Z here is telling the wfuss that we're gonna use uh, something to fuzz the, we can use either files, right, word list, to fuzz the uh, file, to fuzz the, uh, the ID. So file, so here we're using file, the word list, we define the path of the word list, which is in the desktop, user, uh, word list. Okay. After that, define the URL. Now, next is we define the uh, ID that we would like to fuzz. In our case, the ID or the parameter is date. So we specify this using an option or a switch called dash D. And here we specify um, date equal fuzz. So fuzz here is a word that will be replaced by every uh, string in the word list. So it will iterate through the word list line by line and replace every line with the replaced w the replaced fuzz with uh, every line in the word list. And enter. Seems like we have a problem. Running the command one more time. All right, so fast enough, it has finished. As you can see, what has happened is the tool has used the values in the word list, the date values, okay? And substituted the values in the, uh, okay, so date. And substitute the values here in the date parameter. Okay, and if you get back to the tool or the output, we see we have zero characters. So these values have returned zero characters. It means there is nothing. If we try to, with one of these values and substitute that value in the parameter, as you can see, nothing. Now, if you scroll down, there is one value that has returned 13 characters. Scrolling down also, we see nothing. All of the other results returned zero characters. So we take the one that has returned different response with 13 characters. And we try with it. So this is the flag. Now, what has happened, as I told you earlier, uh, we had a file called site local PHP, which, which takes a parameter called date. We want to find out what is the correct value of the date parameter, okay, so that a response is returned to the user. In this case, the, the value was this one, and the response was the flag. Okay, so let's see other questions. For uh, given the URL, what would the entire wfuzz command look like to the query, to query the read parameter using the word list big.txt? Assume the big.txt is in your current working directory. So wfuzz dash c dash z file big.txt. 
and the parameter is dash d to query the uh, breed parameter dash d. So here breed equal fuzz and dash u for the URL. Okay, use go buster against the target you deployed, not the ships XYZ to find the API directory. What to do, what file is there? So the file was sitelog.php. Okay then, so that was